Hello, I'm Rick Zanotti with Relate Corporation, and this is another Captivate Quick Tip. Today, how do we insert custom buttons into our Captivate pieces? Well, fortunately, it's a real easy process. We go into Insert, Standard Objects, and then Button. Now, Captivate, let's go into Image Button. Now, Captivate provides you with a whole series of buttons in their gallery. But these may not be the buttons that you want for a specific piece. You can create your own custom buttons. So I've already created some. I'm going to click here for the search. And I'm going to bring in my up button for my F1. Now, if you notice on the right, it shows me a preview of what the up, the over, and the down look like. So I'm going to select the up. It automatically brings in the up state, the over state, and the down state. That is a really nice feature, so you don't have to actually bring them in three times. Now, the other thing you have to do with the button is tell it where you want it to go. So I'll just say we'll jump to slide. And in this case, we'll go to slide three. And I have to go quickly into options. And we'll just say keep it on for the rest of the slide. And let's, oops, let's pause after three seconds. All right, so here's our very first button. Now let's say I want three buttons. So I'm going to do a Control C. This is a shortcut. And then I'll Control V, paste it twice. So now I've created three buttons without having to re-import every single time, or at least in the initial get-go. All my properties were set in the first one. So to bring in the second button, I just double-click on it. And I have to choose my F2 up state in this case. And we'll let it go to slide three again, because that's good enough. We'll say OK. And then we'll bring in our third button. And in this button, we again want to bring in our up state for the third button, which is this one. This time, I'll change my location to slide two. So we're good there. We have our three buttons. They're not exactly aligned, so what do we do? How do we align these? I'll click on control click on every one of them to select all of them. I'll right click, then we do unalign and left, so now they're aligned to the left. But let's also align them vertically, distribute them vertically so that they look good. There we go. Now all the buttons are evenly distributed, and we now have custom buttons on our page. It was that simple. If I press F4 to run this, you notice we have our rollover states. And you could have different rollover and down states. In this case, my rollover and down are the same. If I go to the first slide, it takes me there. I can return. I go to the second slide. It'll take me again to slide three. And then we can return. And our third slide, or our third option, takes us to this. And here's why I want to talk about how you name your buttons. In Captivate, as long as you have any kind of button name underscore up, underscore over and underscore down, Captivate will automatically bring those in when you import them. Up is the visible state when you first look at the button. Over is the rollover state when you roll over the button. And down is the click state if you click down on the button or when you click down on the button. Now, usually over and down will default to the same button many times. If you only create up and down, over will be automatically generated. However, it's usually a good idea to create all three just so you have total control over what Captivate's doing. Well, that's really all you have to do to create custom buttons and uh, apply them anywhere you want. Remember your up, down, and over states. For Captivate Quick Tips, I am Rick Zanotti with Relate. Thanks for watching.